Hi. Is that Manny's little head right there? Is that my little friend? Manny's naked. He's spying on us right now. <laughs> All right, breakfast of champions today. Good morning, Laura. Are we about to have a snack. Just for me, Hi, babe. Just a little one. <laughs> Laura is getting ready for some little beach excursion. And what about him? Oh, baby, hi. <laughs> My feet in the sand and the water feels so good and relaxing. I'm sending love to everyone out there. I know the world is fucking. People want to continuously spread lies and bring up over and over what can we do but just be the best versions of ourselves and if people want to um, you know drag me for some horror 12 years ago y'all know I have apologized over and over um, and I know where my heart is I know that I should hi everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're having a lovely Saturday now Jeffree Star has addressed Yet again, right, she properly this time, he's addressed all of the Kimmy K drama. It's been played out everywhere on TMZ or Z, as we should say in the UK. I'm not American. But um, yeah, on TMZ. And they've been really covering the footage quite a lot, you know, talking about his stuff that he did, to, you know, the opinions he used to have, the not so nice opinions he used to have, say, 10 years ago. Back in the day to get a reaction out of people and to be offensive and shocking. Um, and the good is I know that there are millions of you out there who watch my videos and follow me who know the real me and no I don't care anyone's gender or race or anything like that it's just media guys social media is and people never want to see uh, people happy um, I think people forget that I am just one little person on the screen and I'm only a one little human being with feelings And you know, there is no manual to being all over the news and TMZ and all over social media and People Magazine and Us Weekly. And so many people are writing articles about the whole entire Kim drama um, and just trying to drag me through the mud and paint me in a horrible light. And it's like, girl, you cannot convince millions of people and you can't even convince me that I'm something that I'm not. Um, you know, we all say Sadly, mine was on video. I've already posted a video about this whole entire subject last month, but now that this Kim K thing has turned into World War III, everything's being brought up again and again and again, and it's like... I guess there's no instruction book, is what I was trying to say earlier, to deal with, um, you know, all of this chaos. And I know that there are news outlets watching my Snapchats now, there are people trying to take everything I say out of context, but this is coming straight from my mouth. You guys cannot continue to abuse me and try to make me something that I'm not. I've talked about this subject countless times over and over, um, and I had no idea that, you know, me making fun of Kim K's swatches would turn into this. And, you know, me and her are totally great, and there is no ill will. The whole world wants to act like, you know, Kim took back her words and she attacked you. Girl, we're fine. They're sort of addressing all of that. But yeah, so he's come out and said, you know, he's the best person he's ever been. That stuff that, you know, it happened 10 years ago. Nobody's going to bring him down. The usual kind of spiel you thought he'd say. Um, you know, she met me with a clean slate and never judged my past, even though she heard a lot of me. And, you know, I respect that and I respect anyone who lets people grow and change and be now i thought he'd actually come out and say something a bit earlier but he said a holiday in bora bora i'm super gel i really want to go there never gonna happen but i'd love to go there but i mean i kind of the thing is i do believe people can change i do but it's the public you really need to convince them so he did that video didn't he that apology video which was good everyone kind of you know wanted to get behind him and all the rest of it but the thing is, some of his actions since that apology, apology video have been a bit suspect, they've been a bit naughty, he's still dragged people a little bit, and I understand nobody's perfect, and you're gonna, you know, I'm not saying don't have an opinion, everyone should have their own opinion, but certain things he said still been a little bit dodgy, a little bit, mm, a little bit, you know, between, a little bit on, you know, oh, what is the right words, dare, 
a little bit close to the edge for my liking, let's just put it that way. And I feel that maybe he just needs to think carefully, a bit more carefully about what he's doing. And if he did, and if he didn't like, or maybe he's like very impulsive and on the spur of the moment, he then just says something. If he didn't do that, maybe people would be more up to the idea that he's changed. But when he keeps blasting people online, especially females, um, I feel that people aren't gonna wanna forgive him. And I wanna think the best in people. I'd like to think he'd change and all the rest of it. I do believe he's a different person than was, say, 10 years ago. Um, I think I'm a different person, completely different person from 10 years ago. Um, apart from probably prettier and slimmer, I'd like to think I am just a different person from 10 years ago. I know that news outlets want to make money off of this. They know that people are gonna click it. It's a hot topic. And you know what? It's all good. I am in Bora Bora on vacation with my best friends, but I just wanted to get that final message out there because I'm gonna turn off my phone for a little bit and just soak up the sun and relax because, you know, I am a work obsessed person. You know, I pre-filmed seven videos before I even got on the plane to go to the island and I just know that um, all of you out there watching get it and I love you so much. Thank you for all the support and everything that you guys do for me. I could never, I could never truly express how I feel to the people that actually accept me for who I am and that know who I really am because I am all about, yes, being brutally honest and I do come off sometimes as very abrasive and rough, but that's my personality, but I have a lot of love. Um, I am a loyal friend and I know that you guys know the real me out there and um, sorry that you guys have to witness and see all of the negativity and the lies. That's what's upsetting is that, you know, even my family has to turn on the news and see my face and all these horrible headlines like, it's sad. It's really, really sad. So I love you guys and I hope that you all have an amazing day wherever you are out there in the world. Just know that um, I'm thinking of you and I love you. But I feel that the public need convincing, you know, and actions speak much louder than words. So what do you think about all the drama? You know, if one loves a bit of Jeffree Star Goss, don't they? But um, what do you think about it? What do you think? Um, I think he now really just to make needs to make the public think that he's a changed person, try not to clap back at anyone on Twitter or Instagram, say in a few months. <laughs> it's probably going to be hard for him. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a lovely Saturday. And please subscribe if you're new. I'm going to try and be, bring you some more celeb snaps if I can and give my little opinion on it, whether you care about it or not, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you have a lovely day and have a lovely weekend. Bye!